Hello dear students. Today I will be covering why object oriented programming system comes in a picture. Why object oriented programming? In my first video, I have shown you how to create class and how to access member function. We have created three member functions initially, single member function. Then we have converted a single member function into three member functions. And then we have converted one member function scope as private. Now, here in this video, we will discuss why this object oriented programming system comes in a picture. Oops, concept. Suppose I am working into some software development company ABC XYZ Info Solutions Private Limited as a programmer. And there we got one project of any school, English medium school or Marathi medium, any school for ERP system. They want to develop full ERP system for atomization of their school from admission to result. Everything they want to make computerization. So there, suppose we have one form that is student registration form or student admission form. And there at one place, they want to calculate age of the student from date of birth. Now we calculate date of birth as current date minus date of birth. What are current date? Minus date of birth, we subtract day from day, month from month, year from year. If the answer comes negative, then we take carry over and all everything. This calculation we do. Suppose this system is generated perfectly and it is distributed. It is given to that school and it is working fine. After few months or after few years, suppose one engineering college again approaches us for this their ERP system and there also we have student registration for our admission form where again we want to calculate age from date of birth concept remains the same current date minus date of birth so in previous ERP system which is which we have developed for English medium school same part is there and now also we have same part concept remains same after few days suppose after distributing this system suppose we want we got the uh, order from any government office and in government office also we want to calculate age of the employee concept remains same current date minus date of birth so we have three different projects or multiple different projects where we want to calculate age, age of a student, age of a person, age of a child, whatever it is. Concept remains same, current date minus date of birth. So every time instead of writing same program or copying same program everywhere, the need of the programming comes as creating reusable programs. This is the first example. There may be different examples like billing system. If you are developing software for 10 uh, companies and they want to their billing, generally billing is same, current date, sorry, uh, generally billing is same, that is price multiplied by quantity. If they have discount, price multiplied by quantity minus discount amount. If they have GST, then price multiplied by quantity that will give you amount, whatever discount is there, you apply, apply a discount and if GST is there, you apply GST and at the end, they will it will give you the actual amount to pay. It's not that some shop changed, that's why it changed formula. The formula will remain the same. Price multiplied by quantity, discount will remain formula the same. GST calculation will remain the same. At the end, calculation billing will remain the same. So, ऐसे बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं कि जो common होती है वो हमें अलग-अलग projects में use करनी होती है. So, the need comes is creating reusable program where this object-oriented programming system starts coming. This is the need in that era. 
तब उसकी जरूरत हो गई इसलिए वो करना शुरू हो गया एंड इसीलिए ये क्रिएटिंग रियूजेबल प्रोग्राम का कंसेप्ट शुरू हो गया एक, एक, एक ही बार लिखो और बार बार यूज करो एंड दैट इज पॉसिबल विद हेल्प ऑफ क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट यू क्रिएट अ क्लास एंड देन यू कैन मेक मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक इन अवर प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव क्रिएटेड मनी क्लास ओके वी हैव क्रिएटेड मनी क्लास एंड इन मेन प्रोग्राम वी हैव क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट एम एंड देन वी हैव कॉल्ड एम डॉट रीड एंड एम डॉट शो वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस क्लास ओके इन रियल लाइफ इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव रिटर्न क्लास एंड इमीजिएटली बिलो दैट वी हैव रिटर्न मेन प्रोग्राम ओके we have created object of that class this two task we have done previous in previous video we have created class and then we have created object and everything in a same file but my dear students in real life class is created into some other file and objects are created into some other file okay so class writers are different if you got experience of 4 to 5 years of programming then you can become a class writer junior programmer works as a junior engineer they use classes creating object ready made classes created by seniors to solve their problem but to learn c++ in when one program we are writing class as well as we are creating main program now in previous example we have created only a single object okay and we have called this read and show but now in main program if we create m1 and m2 two objects m1 and m2 then we can call this as m1 dot read m2 dot read same m1 dot show m2 dot show likha hum log ne ki bhai function lekin hum log kal bar bar kar sakte alag alag objects ke liye so when program is executed your compiler will create object m1 with all the member variables it will create object m2 with all the member variables okay so when it goes to execute m1 dot read it will work with the member variables of m1 when it execute this m2 dot read it will work values of m2 likha hum log ne ek hi baar hai lekin use hum log bar bar kar rahe with alag alag objects ke sath with different objects okay this is a use of object oriented programming system but in real life class writers are different and users are different after writing a class the class writer releases a note regarding the public member functions and public member variables which we can access and the junior programmer who is creating object he can read that note and he can write his main program junior program ko ye kabhi pata nahi chalega ki is class money mein ek फंक्शन मेंबर फंक्शन है कैलकुलेट जो हम लोगों ने लिखा था लास्ट वीडियो में ये हम लोगों ने लिखा था इसलिए हमें पता है लेकिन जूनियर प्रोग्रामर को ये कभी पता नहीं चलेगा उसे सिर्फ दो ही फंक्शन पता होंगे रीड एंड शो बिकॉज दो ही है जो पब्लिक है ठीक है तो क्लास राइटर वही नोट रिलीज करेगा कि इसमें दो क्लास का नाम मनी है रीड फंक्शन रीड रुपीज एंड पैसे शो फंक्शन विल डिस्प्ले रुपीज पैसे एंड टोटल पैसे वो टोटल पैसे कहां से कैलकुलेट है यह जूनियर प्रोग्राम को पता नहीं होगा तो जूनियर प्रोग्रामर सिर्फ वो फंक्शन कॉल करेगा रीड फंक्शन कॉल करेगा और शो फंक्शन कॉल करेगा सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो क्लिक द लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू वीडियोज वेन आई अपलोड द न्यू वीडियोज थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच